Hello traders, in this video we will focus on uh, GPI uh, pairs uh, because here uh, I uh, see some uh, selling opportunities. As explained in my uh, written uh, analysis, fundamental analysis uh, last week, in uh, USD GPI uh, case uh, things are not so clear. With the, the pair could spike more, but in uh, crosses uh, case uh, we can find some nice uh, selling opportunities. So let's start with the uh, GBP GPI. As explained in the in my uh, uh, written analysis on Friday, uh, the pair started to to drop. And this, of course, is a correction to the longer term trend. And as we can see, dropped under this level of support. Here the pair found the bottom and started to correct. And in the written analysis I said, I said that we should uh, focus on this uh, level of confluence uh, resistance. As we can see the pair rose on Friday and reversed back down, leaving a pin bar on our chart. It's not a, it's not a very bearish pin bar, but still a pin bar. So in conclusion, uh, what we can look is either to a test of this uh, resistance and the drop initially to this support but in my opinion the pair could drop even to this level uh, 180 also looking at one hour chart we can see that let me make it like this, we can see that we also have a level of support here. So, if the pair breaks under this support, we can consider this a top and also here, if we trade the break, we could have a nice risk reward if we consider uh, stop loss above this level and the target to this level as we can see it's 1.7 not bad uh, it's preferable to to not trade the the, the break but uh, to try to sell rallies against uh, this level of resistance going further to euro gpi Here I have, let's go to daily, here I have an open uh, trade, it's running at this moment with around 40 pips uh, uh, loss, uh, I, I anticipated the, the break under this level of support. Anyway, here as I said in the written analysis, uh, the pair is trading in a very clear range with this resistance and this support and the break under this support uh, could lead to a drop to this level of, uh, of support and also here let's look at uh, the risk reward if we consider a stop above and the target here also 1.7 um, risk reward for this trade. Now let's go to CAD GPI. Here as we can see, I draw attention at some point at this ascending triangle. Uh, the pair rose very strongly, uh, made the new uh, local high above this level and also these two levels and on Friday reversed uh, very strongly leaving a <clears throat> huge uh, bearish engulfing on our chart as we can see one two three four uh, the candle uh, engulfs uh, four days of, uh, of uh, uh, trading I think also on weekly it's a pin bar Yes, 
as we can see, it's a very long tail pin bar uh, on our weekly chart. Going back, let's say, to 4 hour chart. We can have continuation also here. We have this trend line and another trend line if we draw it from here which is broken. So in my opinion in CAD's GPI uh, case uh, if the price breaks under this uh, 109.50 zone we can have a huge uh, drop and as for target we are on the daily chart now so if we go under this level let me put it on chart this becomes a false break and uh, the pair could drop to this level of, uh, of support at one, uh, 106 but even to this level of support, so the beginning of the, the bump uh, at uh, 105. So I will keep a close eye on uh, GPI pairs for uh, next week. And as I said, uh, I'm looking for selling opportunities. That's it for this video. Have a nice uh, Sunday. Bye bye.